Hello everybody, Elijah Williams with Williams Built Blades. Do a new video today showing you how to put a shaving sharp edge on your knife and how to maintain that with the with the minimal amount of effort. So get to get right into it here. The way I like to do this, I have uh, a few different things I like to use. First of all, obviously, uh, your knife and any decent or high quality knife is. Uh, what you want obviously um, this is a basic inexpensive sharpening whetstone it's got the two different um, the, the coarse and the fine grit which you might be able to see you want to use it with water <clears throat> so you don't clog up the pores of the stone I normally prefer to use a finer stone uh, like an Arkansas stone or something like that but um, um, I'm, us I'm using this for the video because it's a little more readily available for less money and it will work just fine. It'll just take a little bit longer to uh, put the finishing touches on the edge. Then I have a piece of 8 to 10 ounce leather. This particular piece is vegetable tan, I believe. It's 12 inches long by about 3.5 inches wide, which is, which is about perfect. And then I have some... Uh, Jewelry Polishing Compound. This brand is Mother's and it says Meg, Meg and Aluminum Polish. Uh, but it's a very fine, um, very fine grit uh, compound. So those are the those are the tools that I use to maintain um, a shaving sharp edge on my knives. And this particular knife I haven't touched up in a while. Um, and I've been using it, but it's uh, it's still capable of shaving off um, hair. Not quite as well as it could, though. So, to get right into it, I think I just said that a minute ago. Assuming your knife is not terribly dull, which is not supposed to be dull, um, you can make sure that it's up to par with the finest grit uh, stone you have, okay, and uh, assuming your knife has been kept in decent condition, that should not take much at all. In fact, it's going backwards for this particular knife, but I'm just doing this for the for the video. Now, <clears throat> this particular knife uh, has a pseudo Scandi grind on it. Um, it's got a basically a Scandi grind with a micro bevel. True Scandi grinds do not have a micro bevel. Um, but I find that to be a pretty effective and easily maintained uh, blade design, but that's a subject for another video. Um, all other knives, generally speaking, have a secondary or micro bevel right at the edge of the blade, and that's what you're sharpening, and that's what you're going to be honing and maintaining. So once you've uh, brought your, your knife to the sharpest that it can be on the finest grit, um, stone you have and preferably get a fine Arkansas type stone that's um, get really going to bring that down even more. Um, once you have that edge you can kind of test it with your fingernail. Um, that's a popular method. If it catches well with just the weight of the knife, generally speaking you have a, uh, a fairly good um, edge on it. But that is, that is just the beginning. Um, so once you've, once you've done that, we'll go to the next step to achieve that shaving sharp edge. And sorry about the shaking of the camera here. So I'm going to take my piece of leather, hopefully you can see that, and take my polish compound. And with the hair side up on the leather, I'm going to apply that polish compound as evenly as I can across the whole surface of the leather. Now when it comes right out of the can, this particular stuff is a cream, or a paste, um, but it will dry and uh, become more like a, uh, um, not a powder, but it will dry. And it doesn't take a lot, you don't want to have a lot of excess, because it's just going to get uh, pushed off anyway, once you start using this. Try to work it into the <clears throat> surface of the leather a little bit while it's still wet and um, 
get that evenly it starts drying out pretty quickly and once it's dry it does not spread at all to speak of at least not the way it is right now okay so that should be sufficient as you use your strop which is technically what this is you can apply more compound as needed but quite honestly this can will last pretty much forever so there is that and of course I forgot to grab a rag <coughs> make one handy try to find something here okay technical difficulties okay so take your knife that's been um, sharpened to this point and you can either I mean once you have applied the compound to your strop it's going to be dry when you use it um, and it's it's already dry so never mind it dries very quickly let it dry out and then you're going to be stropping the edge of your knife. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So the angle that I'm working at is going to be slightly more obtuse uh, or closer to a right angle than the actual angle of the secondary or micro bevel on your knife blade. So you just place it on the surface of the strop and pull it away from the edge. And so you're going in the opposite direction of when you use a stone. Okay. So, like I say, I've got a slightly more obtuse angle that I'm using than when I actually am um, using the stone. <clears throat> and what I'm going for is I want to strop about the about five thousandths of the blade right at the edge so um, you might be able to see that just a very fine bright line right down at the edge and um, yeah, it's probably closer to ten thousandths <clears throat> okay between ten and twenty it's it's very fine it'd be something like um, shoot I don't know Try to think of something here. I would say it's about uh, okay, probably about twenty thousands. Anyway, you're barely you're barely getting any of the uh, of the uh, actual grind on the knife. You're just honing the very edge. You're polishing the very edge. Now this is important because not only does this achieve a razor sharp shaving sharp edge it creates an edge that is much stronger at the microscopic level than the edge you had just with any kind of stone because that's going to have um, very noticeable imperfections and, and jagged edges on the edge at a microscopic level which as they're stand, standing alone, as it were, they don't hold up. This uh, creates a much more of a mono edge, if you will, um, at the microscopic level, and uh, it's a lot stronger. So not only is it sharper, it's a lot stronger. Okay, so have a little bit of polishing compound on there. That's not a big deal. Wipe that off. As I'm going, I start with the knife straight at a perpendicular um, angle to my strop, and as I go get to the curved part, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling that around so that I um, I strop that at that appropriate curve. Get the whole curve of the blade. Taking off any microscopic burrs that are weak, even if they feel sharp. 
It might tear through a piece of paper pretty good, but that is not the uh, ultimate test of a sharp knife. Okay, so I've got a little ways to go. Let's get in there though. So this is going to take a little bit of time to get your edge up to um, a shaving sharp polished edge. <clears throat> Once you get it there, <clears throat> this stropping uh, with normal use is all you're going to need to do for the large majority of the time. If you get your edge to this point and maintain it with stropping, and, and by maintaining I mean you know, say you've, you've uh, you know, spent half an hour to an hour carving some wood and your knife is still sharp, <clears throat> perhaps, but just not quite as sharp as it was, and you take it to the strop and you put it, you know, you just do a couple passes and, and uh, dress that edge up just a little bit and um, put it back into tip-top condition um, and always maintaining that strong mono edge if you will never letting it get to the point where there we go where it's uh it's weakened by uh being dull and then if you ever have to go back to the stone which you will eventually then you obviously want to come back to the strop and uh polish that back out and get that uh that polished strong edge back. So anyway, I don't know how many passes this has been, but it, it takes a little bit of time to get it um, to where you want it. And then like I say, once you have it there, um, maintaining it is quite easy and you're really not going to need most of your sharpening equipment that you probably normally have used. Assuming you have a good knife blade. Uh, there are knives out there that uh, even though you get into a good stropped edge, um, they're just not going to hold up the same as a, as a high quality knife blade. And uh, that's a different issue. But uh, So this edge is literally shaving sharp. Um, let me get my watch out of the way here. With just uh, a thumb and a finger on the knife. Um, a little more than the weight of the blade, but uh, put a pretty good. Uh, it's kind of an awkward angle for me, but anyway, that's uh, that's how it's done. And uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thank you.